so welcome to the channel so today we're going to refurbish this old Game Boy which I got for about five dollars on carousel okay I just got this from carousel cost about five dollars carousel is similar to Craigslist in US it has some screen issue and according to the seller it has not been opened for at least 10 years it doesn't work most probably it's because of the corrosion caused by the battery leakage the Game Boy Pocket was released in 1987 making it 27 this year okay we're going to open up the Game Boy so we need two types of screwdriver a tri-wing and also a Phillips head okay these six points are tri-wing screws so you need to use the tri-wing screwdriver to open these are Nintendo security screws which can only be opened using the tri-wing screwdriver there's a total of 6 tri-wing screws here so it helps if you put all the screws together for easy access later once all 6 screws has been removed it's quite easy to open up the Game Boy shell ok we need to inspect signs of corrosion ok we will use isoprofit alcohol Go through thoroughly at every component including the power switch, volume wheel and also the cartridge slot. Next we're going to unscrew the motherboard. So there's three Phillips screw here. So using your Phillips screwdriver and remove the three screws. Next we will remove the screen. Using a plastic tool or your fingernails, you need to remove the two tabs holding on the flex cable. And there you go, it's out. Okay, so the board is a bit dirty so we use IPE again to actually clean out the board go through thoroughly at all the contacts especially the button contacts gently go through the speaker as well this will help with the sound some of the components are rusty but it's okay you just use IPA to actually clean it out ok we remove all the buttons this will be sent for washing later it's very dirty next we remove the screen using the ice cube method bending the shell gently until the screen is off Okay, the screen is in a very bad shape okay the polarizing filter has already burned out already so we're gonna replace this okay be careful use a craft knife to slowly peel off the polarizing filter next you will try to see if you can peel it off in one go so do it slowly try to peel off as much as you can this can be so satisfying ok next we need to remove the adhesive ok this will take you some time to do so same thing using your craft knife scrape through remember to take your time and be gentle with it do not stretch the glass underneath the adhesive because you will need it later ok apply some IPA on it it will help with removing the adhesive a bit so just go through thoroughly and slowly scrape everything off you need to remove the adhesive before you can actually apply the new filter on it ok take your time it took me about 25 minutes to get everything clean off so just go through again and again so after all the adhesive is gone you will see a clear glass so we're going to reconnect everything and test so quickly just assemble it here I'm using IPA on the contact points to remove a bit of the corrosion Ok, put in two fresh batteries. Hopefully this will turn on. Ok, we will try to turn it on now. Ok, success! Removing the dirt and going through all the points with IPA does help to reconnect all the connection again. Ok, we will test out the new filter. So, putting the filter here, you can turn on. This polarizing filter you can get it at any mobile phone store. It will not cost more than five dollars. Here I'm checking for any inverted colors or if there's lines. Okay, sadly there's lines here. Okay, there's a way to fix it. There's a way for you to fix this using a shouldering iron, but I will not cover it for this refurbish. Instead, what we will do is we will order a new screen from AliExpress to replace this current old screen. Okay, search for GPP, which is Game Boy Pocket screen. Okay, it should be this one. Okay, it costs about $23 Okay, shipping is usually free So we're going to get this And since we are here We will also look for the battery cover Since we are missing a battery cover 
it shouldn't be that expensive uh, this one costs about one dollar so shipping will take about nine days one week later so it has been about nine days since i placed the order the item has been delivered here's the screen and here's the back cover the color is totally off okay we might do a reshell in the future let's remove the nintendo security screws using the driving screwdriver there are a total six screws here put the screw together so you don't lose any next we'll remove the screen open up the right tab the left tab put the screwdriver in and gently pull out the flex cable next we'll remove the three phillips screws that is holding on to the motherboard put them together so you don't misplace any screws gently lift up the motherboard lift up the old screen this is the old screen the one that we'll be replacing with the new screen okay pick up the motherboard put in the flex cable push it all the way in and then click the left tab and then the right tab Okay, we will fix the back of the case so we can test out the screen. Put in two fresh batteries. Flick the switch and play around with the contrast a bit. Okay, the new screen seems to work. Okay, so let's test the cartridge, see if the cartridge slot is working. So here I have Pokemon Silver. Okay, let's restart the Game Boy. There's a sound coming out, which is good. Main speaker is working. Success. You can actually see the game playing. Let's test the speaker now. The speaker is loud. Next, we're gonna wash all the components and then we get ready for assembly. Here, I'm using a brush, hot soapy water. You should be able to remove all the dirt and smell. There's a spot on the screen which I'm unable to clean due to the corrosion, so most probably you do a replacement shell in the future. Okay, leave it to dry overnight. Make sure all the components are dry. The component looks very fresh and smelling really good. Align the power button with the power switch. This will take some time. Next, we will install the motherboard using the three Phillips screws. Next, we will install the RF shield on the back shell using the four screws. These are Phillips screw head. Let's put them together. Next, we will install back the 6 screws on the shell using the tri-wing screwdriver to install the security tri-wing screws. Put in 2 fresh batteries. Put in the battery cover so off color but you will do put on our pokemon silver into the cartridge slot let's turn it on and this 23 year old Game Boy pocket is alive once again there is this white spot in the middle of the screen this is due to the battery leakage so most probably we do a reshell in the future ok we are going to test out if the headphones works on here ok the sound Restoration success. 
epilogue. And this is the working Game Boy currently, uh, the Game Boy Pocket. It was released in 1997, making it about 23 years old this year. Uh, it's the only Game Boy that uses AAA batteries. The rest of the Game Boys are usually double A's or rechargeable for the newer uh, model like the Game Boy Advance, SP onwards. Yeah, so quite happy with how this turned out to be. It started as $5 junk, which is not even working. But going through all the soldering point again and cleaning out the contacts, uh, eventually it started working. So I wanted to keep the cost really, really low for this one. So I wanted to save the screen, but sadly there were a lot of lines where we put the polarizing filter. So eventually I had to replace the screen. Yeah, otherwise it would not work at all. The lines can be fixed. Uh, but it will require you to actually use the shouldering iron. I will try to cover this in the next future videos or something like that. Okay, the battery cover is off a bit. Okay, so most probably I will do a follow-up video on how to actually reshell this. So we will change this to new, uh, to the original color or a new casing. Okay, so currently the total refurbish cost is about $29 Singapore. Okay, $5 for the Game Boy Pocket, $23 for the replacement screen and $1 for the battery cover which is definitely way cheaper than buying a new working set or a, a refurbished set from eBay or Carousel. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up on the video, leave a comment in the comment section and hang out with me on Twitch every Friday, Saturday and Sunday after 9pm and I will see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe everybody.